Hello, my name is Sean Latham, a member of Self Advocates in Leadership for Sale. Sales goal is to only ask for services and supports others have and use in their daily lives. We would like the transportation to be more fair and equal to all who ride. People with disabilities should not be treated like second class citizens. Instead, we should get the same services and get the same treatment that the general public has. It is not fair for us to have to sit on a shuttle all day. Drivers must be experienced with routes and knowledgeable with how to work with people with disabilities. Yes, yes. Did you know that there was the special needs transit work session coming up? Well, it's coming up in July. It's um, July 11th. And so I'm trying to get a, as many people as possible there. And I can actually email you the flyer that I've been using. My challenge to everybody sitting here is if you know about the transit work session, because I've been talking about it nonstop for a month now. Um, if you know about the transit work session, if you could tell somebody who doesn't know, that would be awesome. That would be the best thing to do. You know what another reason is, is because transportation is such a hot issue right now is you have the local bus things like taking their bus routes away and stuff. Mm -hmm. Right. And the uh, access buses, they're like, you have to call them like an hour before. I mean, a day before. You can't even take them the next day. The only training that one really receives in any system is this, the information that's provided on the schedule. But not everybody learns like that. Right. Somebody, somebody might need something um, a little bit more visual, like drawings. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. In Austin, on the buses, they had something which was like something which you read, which came out and it said, the next stop on this bus is, and you read it. And there was also an automated voice that oh, said okay. the same thing. So whenever you're reading a voice, vocalize that. Sometimes people are real good about calling out the stops, mm -hmm. and sometimes people are terrible at calling out the stops. Yeah. So I almost think that idea of the automated voice calling out the stops and not having the, the driver do it would be really revolutionary. So the reason that we're here today is because um, there is a transit work session later on this afternoon and so um, we just need to let legislators know and people that are coming around know that transit is a super key ingredient to making our lives work well. Um, well, in my, in, in, where I'm at, we have two systems, the county, Stomach County Transit and Everett Transit. And they are in war right now. I mean, it's messed up. Now, the Ever Transit, they won't even give transfers out the next schedule. People always say, you could ask somebody for a ride, but then I'm not independent. For me, it's hard because I don't live on a bus line. And I have to travel like a distance to get to the bus stop that it takes me like an hour to get to work. It's good that people are coming out and talking about issues and advocating for transit because it's one of the big issues that we face that people with developmental disabilities face every day so anything that we can do to improve the quality of transit everywhere is good. So the key messages that I'm giving are um, a couple of different options that we have um, in terms of what the legislators can do. Number one is a card system could be created that would help make transferring between systems seamless. It could operate similar to a coffee card or a gift card that could be reloaded when necessary. This would help to make moving from system to system much less stressful. And the second suggestion is the state could help transit systems create a consistent language for bus schedules to be formatted in so that they have the same features. This would help to ensure 
that the transit systems are a useful tool for all of Washington's citizens. I sincerely appreciate the time to explain this very complex issue. Thank you for your time. It was clearer to me that we have to be more vocal about what our issues are so that they're on the um, forefront of the radar screen instead of like in the mix of all these other things. Buses are getting cut and you know people can't get rides to places. No matter what anyone says, that's the truth.